Hi, in this episode I'm going to look at a spreadsheet that uses um, VBA, so Visual Basic for Applications, in Excel to talk to Google Maps uh, via the API, which is the Application Programming Interface, and bring up images from the Google Maps um, database. So well, let me just show you first uh, what this does when you open up the spreadsheet. It brings up this tab on the ribbon. Uh, which is called Map Panorama. You can then click on Point of Interest or just directly type in an address. So let's try this Point of Interest list. And what this gives is a list of the different um, places we've put on the Excel spreadsheet. For example, St. Paul's Cathedral over here, uh, Tower Bridge, and Westminster Abbey. But let's start closer to where I am. I'm in Cambridge. So here's King's College, Cambridge. What you do is click on King's College, Cambridge it would fill in the latitude longitude because we've got a table in another spread, uh, another worksheet that fills out latitude longitude for some of these locations and then you press show map and you click on show map uh, Excel goes and queries Google and Google comes back and returns these um, map views let's show you what happens if I were for example to change it to Buckingham Palace I'd select that and it would fill out the latitude longitude in this yellow box. I'd click on show map, the green button, and then it would update the maps and the street view. So just to stim simulate the street view, it would do something like that. So the image would be, uh, the street view images aren't quite as nice, but they're not too far off that. And again, you'd be able to see the different um, map and satellite views. So this spreadsheet basically is a little demonstrator just to show that it's possible to pull out information from Google Maps via the API, the application programming interface. And so let's have a quick look at how it does that. The code in the spreadsheet is pretty simple. It works off these uh, six images. So there's four street view images and there's two static maps images. And what the code does is basically calls a subroutine Street View Panorama to update these first four Street View images. And then it calls the Google Static Map subroutine twice, first to update the roadmap on the left, and then to update the satellite on the right. The Street View Panorama subroutine is pretty basic. It loops through four times from I is one to four, and it calls the Google Static Street View subroutine and it does that for each of street view 1, 2, 3 and 4 and it gives it the string address which is stored from the, either the user form or from the ribbon um, control and then it loops through at 0 degrees, then 90 degrees, then 180 degrees and 270 degrees and it asks for an image of 256 by 256 pixels and you can see down here this is the Google static street view subroutine so all it basically does is takes the the URL and forms a URL that the Google APIs.com website will understand. So we put together the location, the size, and the heading, and then we fill the shape using the URL that we've combined all these things to get. The Google Static Map subroutine, which is used to fill out the map and satellite views, um, that's also very simple and basically does the same thing. So if we look down here, there's a string URL that it combines uh, this HTTP address with um, a string address that's come from either the user form or from the ribbon control. And then a map type, the default map type here is a road map, and then marker, and address, and zoom, the size, and some other um, some other attributes, and then it fills the, the the shape with the picture that comes from that URL. Once it's done that, then all the all the images are updated, and we have our six image grid. You'll find a link to download this spreadsheet for free at the article page that accompanies this video. So download it, check it out, have some fun, and learn some VBA. Alright, we'll see you soon. Cheers.